Hi, for this video what we're going to do is we're going to find an x value for a normally distributed population. Um, in this case, in this one we're going to use the TI-84 graphing calculator. Uh, the graphing calculator does make this much quicker um, than using the table. I will put down the formula in case you are using the table or you need to use the table. Um, the heights of women are normally distributed with a mean of 63.6 inches and a standard deviation of 2.5 inches. What we are going to do is find the value of the height of a woman in the top 10th percentile. So with this, if you are using a table, what you would have to do first is find the z-score and you would have to pull up your table and look for the 90th percentile because that's the area to the left and you would find the z-score and then you would use this formula x equals the mean plus the z-score times the standard deviation. The nice thing is about your graphing calculator is it already is programmed with this formula so all you have to do is plug it into your graphing calculator with the mean of 63.6 and the standard deviation of 2.5. So your graphing calculator will automatically calculate this. You could also find the z-score and then plug it in if you needed to, but I'm going to just do the shortcut for this one. So if we draw out our picture to represent what we have, we know that this population is centered at 63.6. And what we are looking for is we are looking for the value that makes it where 10% of the area, top 10% always means 10% um, shaded to the right. Um, in your graphing calculator, what we're going to use is we're going to use the inverse norm feature. And the parameters that you have to put in is you have to know the area to the left you have to know the mean and you have to know the standard deviation. So that's what we would plug into our calculator. So with this, what we're looking for is this value right here, where this shaded area. So we're looking for the lowest value of this shaded area. So what we would do is we would grab our graphing calculator and on our graphing calculator, we are going to hit second distributions and we're gonna choose option three. Option three um, gives us the inverse norm. We would put in our area to the right and you can either type in one minus 0 0.10 or you can just type in the difference of 0.9. The mean is 63.6 and the standard deviation is 2.5. If this does not come up for you, um, your graphing calculator, you would just put it in like this. You would put the inverse norm, you would select that and then you would do 0.9. The comma button is above the 7, 63.6, another comma, 2.5, close your parenthesis, and then hit enter. So this tells us that a female who is 66.8 inches, so for this what we typed in was inverse norm, area was 0.9, and the 0.9 came from doing 1 minus 0 0.10, so that's the area to left. And then we put in our mean of 63.6 and our standard deviation of 2.5. And our output, sorry, went too far. And our output ended up being 66.8 inches. Had we done this using this formula here, just to show you that I would have got the same thing, um, if I go back to my second distributions, option three, I would have first um, found the z-score. So this is if you have to find the z-score first, you would use the z-score and then we would use our formula where we type in the mean, which was 63.6, plus our answer, and I'm just gonna hit second answer, <coughs> excuse me. Um, times the standard deviation of 2.5. And we end up with 66.8 inches. So notice we got the exact same thing. All right, so let's look at the next scenario. So like I said, you can either find the z-score first 
by using the standard normal model and then use this formula to translate it or you can just plug it directly into your calculator. You get the same thing either way. Our next scenario we have, for this one, our mean is still going to be the same. Our mean is still 63.6 .6, and our standard deviation is still 2.5. But this time we have, we're looking for the height of a woman who is taller than 35% of other women. So we're looking in total, um, the height of the woman who has a height that is taller than 35%. So we would shade 35%. And we're looking for the X value that represents this. Um, the center, remember, is at 63.6, so we know that anything that is less than 50% is to the left of the mean. So we would type in our calculator, we would do the inverse norm, 0 0.35, 63.6, 2.5, or you could do the 0, 1 and use the other formula. So if I plug this in, we're going to do second distributions, option 3. And we're going to change our area to 0.35. We're going to go back to the 63.6 and 2.5. And so again, if you don't have the option of the table, you would just have it look like this and then hit enter. So 62.64 um, would be our approximate height of a female who is taller than 35% of the population of other women. The last scenario that we want to look at is if the heights are equal distances from the mean, we want to find the heights that 88% of women fall between. So for this one, what we have is we have two heights. We have X1 and we have X2. So this would be x1, and then we have another height, x2. And we want to find what those values are to have 88% in between. So if I look at this part right here, we would be looking for 0.88 in between. And if you recall on this, the outside part portion is 1 minus the between part. So um, the two tails over here would be 1 minus 0.88, which is 0.12, and half of it would have to go to each. So this area over here is 0 0.06, and this area over here is also 0 0.06. So you will have to find this twice. To get our x1 value, which is this value down here, we would do inverse norm 0.06, and then we would still use the same mean of 63.6 and 2.5. Okay, and then for x2, what we would do is we would do inverse norm, and then remember that it's the area to the left of x2. So if I add up 0 0.06 plus 0 0.88, I get 0 0.94, or I could also do 1 minus 0 0.06. Either way, we end up with 0.94. And then we would have 63.6 comma 2.5. So if I plug both of these into my graphing calculator, and if you wanted to, instead of having to retype everything, like going back through the VARs, you can just grab that and then arrow over. Sometimes I think on this one, it's um, just as easy to open it up. Um, but we would put in 0 0.06. Okay, and we end up with 59.71, okay, and to get the other one, if we do second distributions, option three, for this one, we're going to type in 0.94, and we end up with 67.49 inches. So for the first one, our height would be 59. 0.71 inches, and for x2, we end up with 67.49 inches. So 88, the way that we could interpret this, we could say that 88% of women, and we should put approximately, because this is always approximately, 88% of women are between 
59.71 inches and 67.49 inches. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know.